All right, so I hope you're doing well in these times. If you could just uh, think about for a moment how you are right now. Try not to think about what you felt a few minutes ago or what you think you're going to feel in a few minutes, but just try to focus on what's happening right now, whatever it is. And that's what our session is about today. It's about looking and noticing where we are now. And that may seem kind of easy, but you'll notice that when you try to do that, lots of things distract and take us somewhere else, which is very natural. So we need to try to come back. So it's kind of like a game, a tennis game. We hit the ball, it goes to the other side, and hopefully it comes back to us. So it's a back and forth game with ourselves. We try to focus on what's happening now, and then our minds wander off as the ball goes somewhere else, and then somehow we succeed to bring it back. What I'm showing you in the background, just to inform you that this is actually on a course. The platform is called Moodle. It's on the platform so that the platform allows me to award you with certificates. So that's why it's here because the platform generates certificates. So those of you that are here in this live online class, and I strongly recommend that if you're on Facebook or anywhere else and you're seeing this, that you take a look at the link that I provided and you join our Zoom meeting because it's quite different to be in the room. So the link is there. Just click on it and come into the room. All right, so when you come into the room, please say hello in the chat because that's how I know that you're here. The certificates are only awarded to those who come in and join us in our practice. And the link to this platform where you will get your certificates and you'll also be able to get other information is in the chat box. Let me add it again without today's section. You'll see that at the end of the name of the course, which or the number of the course, which is 282, you saw a section. So today's July 13. And isn't it time that we started paying attention to ourselves? You know, we spend so much time taking care of others Sometimes we do a good job, sometimes we don't, but we do our best. When we could do a lot better if we first took care of ourselves. So let's get started with today's presentation. On the presentation, which I also shared, not sure that I shared it here, so let me share it here as well in the chat box. In the presentation, you'll also find today's live online class Zoom meeting. So here we are. That's the information. My name is Nellie Deutsch. For those of you who don't know me, I uh, teach online. I'm involved in technology. I consult and help schools, organizations, educators teach online. This is very important because it allows everyone to connect one-on-one. -on -one. Face-to-face is even more important. 
So right now, this is what we have. So we've had six sessions of mindfulness practice. Today we're going to start the mindfulness awareness practice. We're going to focus on awareness. And I want to remind you that, whoops, let me, I want to remind you that there's no such thing as a good practice, a perfect practice. It's just a practice. So don't feel that you have to reach a certain goal or that there is a goal. All you need to do is practice being aware of whatever is happening. And if your mind goes off, which is very natural, to accept that. My thoughts went off. I disappeared. That's fine. That is very natural. So just try to bring yourself back by noticing. That's all you need to do. Just notice that your thoughts trailed off. Just noticing is the practice. If you don't succeed in noticing, that's part of the practice. There's no such thing as trying to succeed. It's just doing your best. And your best is your practice. That's part of it. So we're going to start with a short video. You may watch the video or you may close your eyes. It's up to you. All right, and then we'll continue. Just want to make sure that you hear the sound. Okay, the idea was, I don't know if you heard it, if it was very quiet. The idea is to try to be with it. Sometimes it's easier to be with something external, to look at something, a tree, a flower, anything, than to actually sit with ourselves and focus on ourselves, which is fine. That's okay. All right, it's okay. But that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to develop and build a mindfulness awareness practice where we stay. The key word is stay. And you know what? Those of you that have been practicing doesn't matter whether you've been practicing for a short while or for a long time. It's always different. And sometimes we just want to run away. We don't want to stay and sit. We start thinking of all kinds of excuses. This is ridiculous. Why am I doing this? What am I trying to achieve? You know, I've got better things to do. I've got emails to look at. I've got kids to take care of. I've got this and that. We find all kinds of excuses. This is too hard. I'm not doing it right. I'm, I'm just doing it all wrong. We'll find all kinds of excuses and everyone has their own agenda, their own excuses of why not to stay. Some people, just wish they could disappear. If only I could run away. 
the idea is to pay attention to all the thoughts that come in and accept them with loving kindness. Accept all the thoughts that come in and say, okay, you can call it thinking. You can call it hearing. You can call it feeling. Whatever you want to call it, you can label it. But tell yourself, stay. Kindly, gently, stay. De develop the habit of saying, stay. And believe me, I've been doing mindfulness practice for many years, and I still need to say, stay. Because sometimes I just want to go. I don't want to stay. And I'll think of excuses. Well, I can't do it today. I'll do it tomorrow. I'll do it later. It's too early in the morning. I've got too many things to do. I've got to go to work. I've got to do this and that. And what I do is I tell myself, stay. Stay. That word is very, very powerful. And I highly recommend stay. Because what we're doing is we're learning to be steadfast. We're learning to develop a new habit. And the habit is to stay. Not to let ourselves think of a million things, to allow ourselves to think or do whatever we want as we close our eyes and stay sit with ourselves and think about it. It doesn't matter with, whether it's logical or not logical. We still want to run away. That's who we are, which is fine. So we need to tell ourselves we're in charge, not our thoughts that keep coming and going. We are in charge. So we're going to stay. Stay and not leave. That's the practice of noticing. Noticing what comes up after we stay, after we say stay, before we stay stay. In other words, whatever comes up, just noticing it, giving it space, looking at it, being curious about it, but not fighting it, not fighting our thoughts or anything for that matter, allowing it to be saying yes, yes, whatever comes up, yes. If you're thinking about what you're gonna do next, about the food you're gonna eat, the person you're gonna meet, whatever, just notice it. Don't give it comments, don't interpret it, don't, don't look for a story behind it or excuses why you're having these thoughts or reasons, nothing. Just stay and say yes, 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 and stay. Stay. We have lots of opportunities, not only when we sit for five minutes a day or 10 minutes. You start small, even a minute, start with a minute every day but do it. Stay and do it on a regular basis. That's all you need to do. That's a must. In order to get the benefits and to grow and develop a mindfulness aware practice, you need to allow yourself to stay. During the day, we are blessed with lots of opportunities to practice. Someone might raise their voice, maybe not at us, at someone else, and will want to jump and say something. That's the time to practice noticing. Stay and notice. Stay with whatever comes up, whatever thoughts during the day, not just during your mindfulness practice, but during the day, whatever comes up, It's an opportunity to practice and just notice. Just notice what is going on, what is happening. 
and don't try to change anything. We do not try to change. We just stay and notice whatever it is that is in front of us. We experience it. Experience, if you're angry at someone, experience it. Be with it. Notice it without any kind of excuses or blame or anything. Pure feelings, pure thoughts. Just thinking, just whatever you're feeling and whatever you are visualizing, because we also see a lot of images. Experience fear. Experience it. Be with it. Stay. Stay with whatever is coming up. Whatever it is, stay with what is. And don't try to make it better. Because that's looking for excuses. By trying to make something better, we are not staying with it. We are trying to change it. And that may be the cause of a lot of pain. So just be with it. Be with whatever comes up and realize that we don't control circumstances. We don't control the opportunities, but we can be with it. Not judging, just staying. Stay. Stay. Be present. And be kind to yourself. Learning to be kind when things come up that we don't like. Being kind to ourselves actually strengthens our kindness so that we are better at being kind to others. The first step to being kind to others, whether friends, family, strangers, enemies, is to be kind to ourselves when all kinds of thoughts come up. So you don't say stay in an aggressive way. You say it in a very kind way. Stay. You talk to yourself. The self-talk is with kindness, always with kindness to yourself. When you don't like something, stay and practice noticing noticing whatever it is just being with it mindfulness is about being awake so we're going to start a mindfulness practice right now and i want you to think of the words stay whenever thoughts come in or you wander off Remind yourself to notice and stay. Stay fully awake to whatever comes up. Be awake. Be aware of whatever comes up. So I hope you're ready. We're going to start. Find a comfortable place. It doesn't have to be in front of the screen. It could be sitting down somewhere else and just listening. Could be lying down. Remember to say stay and awake. You need to constantly remind yourself to be awake to the moment and stay with it. Whatever comes up, stay with it. Because one of the reasons that people kind of doze off. It's because they're finding it difficult to stay with whatever comes up. It's easier to go away, to fall asleep, to physically leave. So remind yourself when you're falling asleep or you feel drowsy, just keep saying, stay, stay. The idea, of course, is to stay awake and not to doze off. 
So let me just uh, get rid of my camera here. We don't need it. And I'm not sure whether you heard, if you could add in the chat, uh, whether you heard the sound before clearly enough, just let me know. I may have to adjust some things here. So let me know in the chat now whether you were able to hear clearly, not quietly, but clearly the sound at the beginning when I showed the video. Okay, if you could just let me know in the chat. I see yes, yes. I'm not sure whether the yes, yes is from before. So I'm going to put a question mark. And if you could just add yes or no, whether you heard the sound before, yes. So you're referring to the yes before. All right, thank you for letting me know. Was it loud enough? We heard the sound. Okay, great, thank you. All right, so it's working. I'm just checking if Zoom is um, working well, loud enough. All right, so get comfortable. You don't have to look at the chat box anymore. Now, it's okay if at any time you feel like you need to move, that's okay. Don't let yourself be uncomfortable. If you need to move yourself to feel a little better, that's okay. You're not supposed to be in pain. That's not the idea, okay? We're trying to deal with suffering, not uh, worsen it. All right.
course, um, you may open your eyes slowly. There are different ways of sitting. You can listen to guided mindfulness practice, listening to someone speak as you close your eyes. By the way, this is a method. It's called the Silva Method. It was developed by someone many years ago who tried to help his children um, with their learning disabilities. And he developed a method that's kind of like mindfulness. It's very similar, but he spoke. You learn while you are in a kind of alpha state. You're very relaxed and the information is given to you by voice. And it seems to work for a lot of people. I don't know if you've heard of it, the Silva Method. It's a way to um, pay attention without really noticing that you're paying attention because while you're focusing on your breath, your mind is taking in the information in a neutral way. And by taking information in a neutral way, you're not trying to get rid of it. You're allowing it to sip in and you retain it much better. In the next practice, you're going to hear bells. And you'll hear space in between the bells. Try to, again, tell yourself, stay, and whatever comes up, look at it as much as you can, and try to come back to the bells. The bells are useful because they bring us back to ourselves when our thoughts carry us away. So let's see how that feels for you. Close your eyes. Try to focus from the top of your head on each part and relax it from the inside out. So your head, the top of your eyes, your forehead, that area, try to focus on it from the inside, inside the top of your brows. And then go down to your ears and try to be with the inside of your ears. Just be there. And then go down to your mouth 
and sense the inside of your mouth, your tongue, and feel it growing in your mouth and letting go. Just paying attention to inside your mouth. Go down to your throat and sense your throat. from the inside out. Go down to your heart area. Feel your heart. You may wish to put your hand over your heart. And feel it from the inside out. Go down to your belly and feel it from the inside. Sense whatever is going on there from the inside outwards. Go down to where down the sides of your legs all the way to your feet and feel your feet from the inside out. When you're ready, move your feet slightly. Move your hands, your fingers. And when you're ready, open your eyes. If you're interested, there is a list of free resources, free mindfulness. You can download or listen to it online. The, um, the bells that you heard came from here. It's all Creative Commons, so you can also share it and use it as you wish. Also want to share some new references. I believe that um, You've seen these. When things fall apart, 
is a very useful book by Pema Chaudron. You might find that useful. I've also added the places that scare you because this is what's going to come up in your formal practice as well as in your everyday occurrences. You will find places, you will be in places that are scary, that make you feel uncomfortable. That's when you need to say the word stay. Just notice how you feel, whatever thoughts come up. And this also includes people. When you meet someone and you have no control over it, they might make you feel uncomfortable, even though they haven't done anything. Just notice how you feel when you meet someone face to face. Could be a stranger, someone you're talked to. Just notice and stay, if it's not dangerous, of course. Um, you don't, I'm not talking about dangerous, of course, dangerous uh, situations. But just the normal everyday occurrences when we happen to meet people, especially now, if you, and I'm sure most of you, most of us actually go out every once in a while, even though we're not outside as often as we used to be. So when you go out, you'll meet people. You may sense differences in how you feel when you meet someone, a stranger on the street or someone you know. Just notice those feelings and just stay with it. All right, so thank you. I'd like to thank everyone for being here. Let me stop screen sharing here. I think I can stop. There we go. And, um, and wish you a wonderful week, day, and um, joyful moments wherever you are. And they will be joyful once you start noticing, because noticing takes away a lot of pain and suffering. Any comments or questions that you'd like to ask? I don't know if you can, let me allow you to unmute your mics if there's anyone who would like to say anything, ask maybe share how it was today. It was different. Thank you, Nelly. Again. Thank you. All right. So thank you, everyone. And as I said, enjoy your day. Bye.